Welcome to your daily source for the most recent deaths in the national news from America and beyond. We honor the vibrant lives and legacies of celebrities who've recently taken their final bows. We delve deeper than just the news, celebrating their impact on our world. Leah Mortensen, an esteemed Chicago stage actress, passed away due to cancer on June 8, 2023, at the age of 57. Mortensen's remarkable career included profound performances like the neurotic Ruth in Tom Stoppard's Night and Day and a grieving mother in Rabbit Hole, showcasing her exceptional talent for displaying raw emotion on stage. Her favorite role, however, was Grace in Brian Friel's Faith Healer, a performance that underscored her bravery in interpreting personal experiences artistically. Beyond her artistic prowess, she was adored for her ability to inspire others. Her loss is a significant blow to the Chicago theater scene, but her extraordinary talent, dedication, and impact on the industry will continue to inspire future generations of artists. Francesco Nuti, an iconic figure in Italian cinema, passed away at the age of 68 on June 12, 2023. Over his vibrant career as an actor, director, and screenwriter, Nuti contributed significantly to Italian cinema, with notable works including West of Paparino, Casablanca, Casablanca, and All the Fault of Paradise. Despite personal struggles and hardships, including a debilitating fall in 2006, Nudie's work remained impactful, becoming integral to the fabric of Italian film history. His tenacity, creative brilliance, and indomitable spirit have left a lasting legacy in the Italian film industry, serving as an inspiration for future generations of artists and filmmakers. Giannis Markopoulos was a renowned Greek composer who passed away at the age of 82 due to complications from cancer on June 11, 2023. His illustrious career spanned decades, and he was instrumental in shaping modern Greek music. Born in 1939 in Crete, Markopoulos began his musical journey with lessons in theory and violin. He later studied at the Athens Conservatory and went on to compose groundbreaking compositions like the Cosmic Cantata Helios Opreotos, and music for films and theater. In 1976, he garnered international fame by composing the music for the BBC television series Who Pays the Ferryman? His music often drew inspiration from Greek traditions and history, merging them with contemporary sensibilities. His legacy as the musical soul of Greece will be cherished for his contributions to Greek culture and music around the world. Fakhri Korvash was a celebrated Iranian stage and film actress, as well as a director, who passed away at the age of 94 in Los Angeles, California, United States. Born on May 31, 1929, in Kermanshah, Iran, she initially pursued a career in teaching before making her mark in theater with an acclaimed performance in the play Dirty Hands in 1948. Korvash's illustrious career saw her act in numerous films, including Mr. Naive, which won a jury award at the Moscow International Film Festival in 1971, and Prince Etajab, where her performance was well-received. She continued her acting career even after the Iranian Revolution and made a foray into television. In 2010, she was honored for her lifetime achievements at the Iranian Film Festival in San Francisco. Her legacy stands as an enduring inspiration for Iranian women in the arts. Owen Gingerich was a distinguished astronomer and historian of science who passed away at the age of 93 in Belmont, Massachusetts, on May 28, 2023. Throughout his career, Gingerich was a strong advocate for the harmonious coexistence of religion and science, and he was particularly captivated by the history of astronomy. He was a professor at Harvard and known for his dynamic lectures and engaging teaching style. One of his monumental achievements was his dedicated pursuit to track down over 600 first and second edition copies of Nicholas Copernicus's groundbreaking treatise. Gingrich's work transcended conventional science as he was open to crediting divine influence in the creation of the cosmos. His legacy will be remembered for the unique blend of historical scholarship, astronomical expertise, and thought-provoking perspectives on science and religion. Yves Tetaz, a formidable advocate for human rights and social justice, passed away at the age of 91 on June 7, 2023. She was a persistent figure in the realm of activism, notably protesting against wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, and the treatment of detainees at Guantanamo Bay, resulting in almost 20 arrests and, at age 80, 
a 60-day jail sentence for civil disobedience at the Supreme Court. However, Tetas was more than a protester. She was an emblem of staunch dedication to justice and education. Throughout her life, she was part of major rights organizations such as Code Pink, the National Campaign for Nonviolent Resistance, and Witness Against Torture, and she made a difference in many lives by helping students achieve their high school equivalency degrees. With her passing, Eve Tataz leaves behind a legacy of fearless commitment to justice, underpinned by deep empathy for societies marginalized. Her indomitable spirit serves as an enduring inspiration for all those who fight for a just world. Harvey Pitt, the former chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission who served under President George W. Bush, has passed away at the age of 78 in Washington after a sudden illness on May 30th. Pitt's tenure as SEC, the chairman lasted only 18 months, but was marked by significant events including overseeing the swift reopening of stock exchanges after the 9-11 attacks. However, his term was tarnished by scandals that led to his resignation. Before his appointment, Pitt was considered a legal prodigy in securities law. His family has not disclosed the specific cause of his sudden illness. Notably, a correction was made to the obituary regarding an earlier misstatement of the name of a 1960s pop group, and a remark by Senator Phil Graham about Pitt, which had been inaccurately associated with the pop group. James G. Watt, who served as the United States Secretary of the Interior under President Ronald Reagan, passed away at the age of 85 on May 27th. Watt was known for his controversial tenure, where he shifted environmental policies towards favoring commercial exploitation over conservation, sparking a national debate over the management of America's public lands and resources. He was often criticized for being too aligned with developers and for his stance against what he referred to as environmental extremists. He joined the Reagan administration in 1981 after being chosen from a Denver legal foundation that had been known to challenge the regulations of the department he would lead, leading to critics likening his appointment to putting a fox in the hen house. His death was confirmed by his son, Eric Watt, who did not specify the cause. Clive Barker, the legendary former head coach of South Africa's national football team, Bafana Bafana, has passed away at the age of 78 on June 10th. Barker is renowned for leading South Africa to victory in the 1996 Africa Cup of Nations on home soil. His family confirmed his death in a statement, mentioning that he had been battling Louis body dementia and had also been treated for an aneurysm earlier this year. The statement expressed gratitude to the medical professionals who cared for him and highlighted the role Barker played in uniting the nation around football. Besides his glorious moment in 1996, Barker had a coaching career that spanned over 42 years, during which he mentored several teams including Amazulu, Manning Rangers, Durban City, and others. He was celebrated for his contribution to football and for being a coach, friend, and mentor to many in the sport. His family has asked for privacy during this time and will announce details of the memorial service in the coming days. Adrian Sprott, who is remembered as a hero for Hamilton Academical Football Club, has passed away at the age of 61 following a period of ill health. Sprott is particularly celebrated for scoring a historic goal on January 31, 1987, which led Hamilton Axes to a 1-0 victory against Rangers in the Scottish Cup. At the time, Hamilton Axes were at the bottom of the top tier, and Sprott's goal was notable for ending the Rangers goalkeeper Chris Woods's record of 1196 minutes of football without conceding a goal. The match is considered one of the greatest upsets in the competition's history. In addition to Hamilton Axes, Adrian Sprott also played for Stenhouse Muir and Meadowbank. In a 2008 interview, Sprott mentioned how that iconic goal made him recognizable and how it holds a special place in the memory of many. John Peter Sullivan, an accomplished Major League Baseball player and coach, passed away at the age of on June 1, 2023. Sullivan's career spanned multiple teams, including the Detroit Tigers, New York Mets, and Philadelphia Phillies, but his most notable impact came as a coach. He notably served a 15-year stint with the Toronto Blue Jays, where he was part of the team's 1992 and 1993 World Series championship victories. Sullivan's career in coaching was marked by success, compiling an impressive .601 winning percentage in the minor leagues and winning four league championships. His dedication to the game and influence on the teams he served leaves a lasting impact on the baseball world. 
Norma Hunt, a venerated figure in American football and matriarch of the Kansas City Chiefs, passed away at the age of 85 on June 4, 2023. Known as the First Lady of Football, Hunt was the only woman to attend every Super Bowl since its inception in 1967, illustrating her unwavering dedication to the sport. As the widow of Chiefs founder Lamar Hunt and mother to current Chiefs chairman and CEO Clark Hunt, her impact on the organization was profound. Hunt's contributions extended beyond the Chiefs, including co-ownership of the soccer team FC Dallas. Her infectious joy, generosity, and unwavering positivity will be remembered by all who knew her, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of sports. Jessie Kay, an esteemed figure in the world of football scouting, passed away at age 79 on June 3, 2023. Spanning over three decades, Kay's scouting career was marked by significant contributions to the Green Bay Packers and the New York Jets. Notably, Kay is remembered for his impressive report on Tom Brady during his scouting tenure with the Jets in the 2000 draft, predicting the quarterback's later success. As the director of pro scouting with the Packers and later director of college scouting for the Jets, Kay's sharp eye for talent left a lasting impact on the teams he worked with and the broader world of football. Despite his passing, the legacy of Jesse Kay lives on in the players he discovered and the teams he helped build. Robert Hansen, an FBI agent who notoriously became a mole for Russia, has been found dead in his maximum security prison cell in Florence, Colorado. Hansen, aged 79, was one of the most damaging spies in U.S. history. His criminal activities began in 1985 when he started sending classified information to Russia and the former Soviet Union. Despite occasional suspicions about his activities, Hansen managed to avoid detection for years. He was finally arrested in 2001 and sentenced to life in prison without parole in 2002 for his espionage crimes. The cause of Hansen's death has not yet been confirmed. Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.